What is up guys, Apathy back in the building with another video. Today I wanted to talk about a certain subject that I just felt like I had to do it because Chance is only two weeks away and I'm very excited to be attending an event. I'm very excited, you know, that we were already, we were, we were already qualified, obviously. We're the one of the six teams to qualify through land events, you know, us placing season, well, I was in the, on the team on season one, but they placed pretty well. And then us winning season two finals or even just placing well in the league, I'm pretty sure. Just qualifying for the event uh, pretty much gave us the spot. But I'm very excited to be attending the event. I'm very excited to be going and competing there. This is going to be the biggest tournament of my life. And there's a couple reasons. And I feel like the biggest reason, and here's why, this has been my goal since the beginning of the year. If you guys, I remember making a video around the beginning of the year talking about this like something like the goal of the year or my goals or something like that i don't know i remember the title exactly but i talked about pretty much throughout the whole video that my main goal this year is to win champs and i talked about how i need to follow these certain steps you know i talked about how i need to get into the league and i need to i need to become individually the best i can you know make sure i'm practicing make sure i get individually better and make sure i have the best team possible to win the event and you know i've been like low-key like going through these steps you know I, I was on a league team because the league's over I'm, i was on a league team um my team i'm on team envious right now we're looking very strong we won season two finals and we played second last event and you know it's it's like it's happening guys like it's low-key like it's looking promising like it's looking like we can do it and i'm just so excited for this event you know with so much things going on in my mind so much things going on in my life uh this is going to be the biggest turn in my life and you know, I've been working so hard this year. I've been working so hard to, to, to win this event, to compete at this event, and make sure we have a chance to win the event. Because if you guys didn't know, um, the two of the champs I went through, I placed 9 through 12. Heartbreaking. Terrible. That is god-awful. Champs is low-key, you know, the event that we make our, pretty much our annual income, you know, because we don't make that much money sometimes during COD. It depends what team you're on, depends if you're winning or not, depends if you're placing well. There's a lot of factors in that. But Champs is the event that helps you make, you know, the money that you need to sustain and continue to do this as a career. And, you know, placing 9 through 12, uh, I placed 9 through 12 in Black Ops 2, I placed 9 through 12 in Advanced Warfare, and that took a toll on me. You know, after that, even not placing too well after that, you know, it, it took a toll on me. Uh, I could I could say, you know, I pretty much almost became broke. Uh, didn't have much money. Uh, I tried to, you know, continue what I was doing, you know, working hard. And, you know, I, I made like sort of like a promise to myself. But, you know, I told myself, like, I'm going to work hard next year. I'm going to go so hard and I'm going to give it my all. And every single day. You know, I went hard <clears throat> when I was trying to qualify for season one. Obviously, we didn't qualify, but I was practicing every day. I was getting on every day. You know, I made so many sacrifices, you know, missing out on the gym, uh, stopped doing YouTube as much, uh, stopped spending time with my fiance as much, which obviously all that hurts me and it hurts my, you know, hurts my life. But I was just so focused and so determined to, to qualify for the league and, you know, get on the best team possible and not have a shitty year again, you know? And not qualifying for season one, qualifying for season one obviously hurt me. I ended up getting on Team Liquid. We placed well at South Carolina. I would say my team one, were one of the teams that grinded the most. If you guys didn't know, it was me, Study, uh, Burns, and Joey D, Merck. And me, me, Study and I, we grinded every single day. We played so much, we worked our asses off, and we were probably the best two on the team, obviously. We were like the stars of the team. And, you know, we placed third slash fourth, and then we went to season two relegations. We we're up 3-0 versus H2K, and out of nowhere, we got reverse swept, which was heartbreaking. It was terrible. And, you know, it's been such a roller coaster year for me, but for the most part, all the hard work I've been putting in, you know, all the time I've been putting in has been paying off. You know, I, I'm in the league now, or was in the league, like I said. Uh, I, I won season two finals, placed second at MLG Orlando, you know, we played 7th through 8th at MLG Anaheim. We lost to Rise and LG, which obviously Rise is like what the, they were like a top two, top three team at the time. And they still are, but you know what I mean? They were a little bit better uh, than we we're still trying to get improve. And LG were like a top four, top five team at the time as well. So, you know, we lost to two really good teams and we were still kind of a new team. We were like a month, half, I would say, still teaming with the new team. 
but you know just I've been having some good success lately you know all the hard work has been paying off the amount of time I've been putting into this and putting into Call of Duty and really stressing and just trying my best to improve and you know when something goes wrong I just want to get better I want to get my team better you know I was trying to motivate my team and all these things and it just means that this is the biggest tournament of my, of my life thus far it, it definitely is uh, just it weighs so much on me. I mean, I'm not I'm not stressed out You know, there's not like there's stress or I feel like this weight on my shoulder Like I don't feel that way like I feel good. I feel happy I feel confident going into, into this event with this team. I feel we have the potential and You know, I'm just gonna go hard these next two weeks that we have left to practice I'm gonna continue to practice. I'm gonna continue to go hard I'm gonna continue to try my best give it my all go hard in scrims go hard in eights whatever it is just Go hard go hard go hard Play with this damn Cronus Max in my PS4 right now and try to prove it because that's what we will be playing with. And even though it's been stressing me out and even though it's been hurting me and I feel like I'm not the same player at times with this damn thing, I'm going to try my best to get back to the player I was because this is bullshit. I'm not going to let the damn Cronus Max stop me. And, you know, obviously it, it hurts a lot of the players. You know, everyone feels the same way. But I'm going to try my best to be, be, be prepared as possible with that thing and, you know, try to be back to where I was. You know, where the dominant apathy, where uh, even online, on LAN, I was just dropping numbers. I had a pretty good LAN in MLG Orlando, not saying I did bad. I could have played a little bit better in the Optic Series, but overall, I had a pretty good event. So, it's nothing like that, but I just feel like I haven't been playing the same way I used to lately. You know, I, I don't know if it's a Cronus Max or what it is, but I just need to regain, you know, get myself back in control and just <clears throat> regain. But thank you guys uh, just for the whole year. I mean, the support has been amazing. A lot of the day ones, a lot of the people continuously to support me no matter what team I was on, no matter what was happening. My Twitch has grown a lot. A lot of you guys know I was streaming a lot. I haven't been streaming because Call Champs, obviously, a big event is only two weeks away. I don't want to stream scrims or tournaments uh, for obvious reasons. People are going to watch. People are going to get a stress. People are going to learn what we do and et cetera, et cetera. So I've been holding that off until after Champs. And, you know, just streaming in general, I know I've been streaming as much, but my stream has grown a ton. Uh, my YouTube has been growing a lot lately. Uh, just, it's been amazing, guys. I want to say thank you so much. I'm going to try to make you guys all proud. Uh, just, you know, competing my goal. I just really want to prove that hard work does pay off. And hopefully, I, I've been a pretty good example of that. You know, not qualifying for Season 1, not qualifying for Season 2, getting into Season 2 team and winning Season 2 finals. And, you know, just continuously to improve and have a good, pretty good, pretty, pretty decent success lately. So, you know, I'm just going to keep working my ass off, keep improving. I want this bad. I want to win this event bad, you know. Um, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna give it my all guys, you know, like I said, there's no pressure. There's no weight Just gonna go and do our th go in and do our thing, but I hope you guys uh, uh, Enjoyed the video just wanted to share, you know I always love doing these vlogs once in a while talking to you guys directly to the fans and people support me and just give you my thoughts and my mind and share with you guys You know my feelings and etc. But don't forget to like comment subscribe. Hope you, hope you enjoyed the video Like I said, it's been a boy Apathy. Hope you all have a good day. I'm out. Peace